For the past 10 months, we've been building our outhouse from scratch. And today we've got two exciting upgrades to show to you. We're taking things to the next level by installing two incredible upgrades, the bidet sprayer and a brand new shower screen door. They're going to make our off-grid outhouse even better. So I'm just going to um, attach this bidet sprayer to the side of the um, wall here um, and then I'll have to drill a hole through that uh, timber and do a T-joint and connect it up to the current tap down there. I'm just going to put the uh, wall holder on. I'm just going to screw it into that stud there and that should give it enough length to come over to the toilet. Okay, so the plan is to put a T-joint on that pipe there which is the cold water and use that uh, extension there put it through the wall and to this bidet spray so it just help us clean the uh, the toilet a bit better so that just comes off and a little spray so just uh, yeah helps us clean the toilet a bit better as it is a dry composting toilet so um, yeah Okay, so I've turned the water off, just run the last of it out. That way you don't get water everywhere. I'll give that another few um, seconds. I oh, know it's starting to drip now, so it's getting near the end. Once I take that out though, there's water in that pipe, so water's going to come out here, but um, yeah, hopefully we can minimise the amount. So I needed... Uh, a three-way male uh, joiner but um, had to get a three-way female joiner and then got male to male uh, uh, joiners there so I'll put them into the holes to make a male to male um, so that will make a bit more sense once I get it together okay so just gonna put um, a bit of thread tape on these joins so thread tape is often known as plumber's tape. It's commonly used in plumbing to seal threaded connections between pipes and fittings. When used on a male thread, it can help with leak prevention. It helps protect the threads from being damaged. It can also protect the threads from corrosion and rust over time. You should wrap the tape in the direction of the threads to prevent it from unraveling when you screw on the fitting. Okay, so that's now a um, male, male, and coming out of the wall down here is another male, which will go in here. And then that one will be the uh, basin tap, and that one will be the bidet sprayer. So I need to undo this wall connection. Okay, so as you can see, I've joined up the T-joint. So one's going to the tap, other one goes through the wall and joins up to the bidet sprayer. So I'm just going to go turn on the um, uh, hose again and come back in, make sure there's no leaks and check how it works. See you soon. Okay, got water pressure back there. Just double check we've got no drips. Good there. Check this join down here. Can't feel anything. It doesn't look like anything. Made a good mess. Okay. Edge of the toilet. Got my bidet sprayer. Done. that works yay so that's one upgrade done and now it's the shower screen door that needs to be installed so paul has to build the frame at the edge of that shower base there if he didn't put these extra dwangs in here basically 
the shower would have nothing to sort of screw into except for the horizontal um, pieces of wood, which I think are called noggins. And that's really not enough to keep it secure. So he's got his new nail gun out and he's loving that because it's making his work a lot quicker. My name is Tina and this is Paul. So if you're new here, hello and welcome. Our family bought 140 acres off the grid in Australia about um, two years ago now. In the heart of the Australian wilderness where nature reigns supreme. We've chosen a life less ordinary. We're learning to grow our own food, harness the power of the sun, and cherish every drop of rain. Nights are for stargazing around the campfire, storytelling and being truly one with nature. Australia's rugged landscapes provides the backdrop for our adventure, but our story just isn't about survival, it's about thriving. From the scorching summers to the chilly winters, we embrace it all. So we're just providing a uh, layer of plywood before we put on the shower panel wall this helps with a few things basically it provides some structural support so there'll be a stable strong backing for the shower panels and then um, it's also waterproofing so it makes it extra resistant to moisture and water damage this helps prevent water from seeping into the wall cavity which can lead to mold and rot issues and the plywood support can help prevent the, the shower panels from flexing or bowing over time, which can lead to cracks, leaks and damage to the panel themselves. And sometimes plywood can serve as an additional layer of insulation in your shower enclosure. So it can help maintain the temperature inside the shower area and prevent heat loss, making your shower more comfortable. So basically the first step of putting in this shower door is to screw in this, um, it's like a U-shaped channel that goes all the way around the shower frame and then the shower door actually slips or slides into that U-channel. So with putting the screws into the shower frame, Paul had to put a nail into the into the spot that he wanted to put the screw in first so that he could make it easier to drill the screw in. So now that the bottom half of the frame is in there, he can slide in the door and then he'll, once the door is in place, then he'll be able to put the top of the shower frame on. He just has to check that everything is in the right position and square and everything before he can start riveting the shower door onto the frame. Silicon is a commonly um, used material for showers, for sealing and waterproofing purposes. It's, um, it helps prevent the water from seeping into areas where it can cause damage, such as the joints between the tiles or the corner of the shower enclosure. So Paul's just using the silicon <clears throat> for like a, I think it's called caulking. 
So where you cover up the joints and gaps in and around the shower, including the corners, where the walls meet the floor and around the shower base. Paul said you need a special bonds rag to get this job done. So if you're using silicon, it says that you need to make sure that all the area is clean and dry and it's free from any debris, soap scum or mildew before you start applying. And you need to make sure that you've got the one that's specifically designed for bathrooms and showers, which is usually mould resistant and formulated for wet environments. So if you use a caulking gun, you'll get a more even application and smooth silicon. And so Paul's just using his finger as a tool to create a neat uniform seal. And you should follow the instructions about how long to let it cure for to make sure it's fully set and it will provide a water so watertight seal. And over time, silicon can degrade or develop mould and mildew. So regular maintenance and occasional replacement may be necessary to make sure that your shower remains waterproof and clean. It's also important to make sure your bathroom has great airflow and um, it's got the opportunity to dry out properly to make sure it um, doesn't develop any mould. So now that Paul knows exactly where the door is going to fit, then he can he can start putting on the top of the shower door frame. So the top of the shower door frame is screwed in and now Paul can look at riveting the shower door onto the frame. So this blue tool that Paul has here is a rivet gun. It's a type of tool used to fasten or secure two or more pieces of material together using rivets. Rivets are typically metal pins or bolts with a like a cylinder shaft and a head at one end. The rivet gun is designed to install these rivets by deforming the end of the shaft or the tail after it's passed through the materials to be joined. This um, creates a secure and permanent connection between the materials. So basically the rivet tool holds the position of the rivet in place and then when you operate it, it compresses the tail of the rivet which expands and locks the materials in place. And once all the rivets are in, it looks like the shower door is opening and closing quite well. Paul's just checking that everything's square and in the correct positions. And so Paul's just going to um, make sure all the silicon is done inside as well. We've been building this outhouse as a family project over the last 10 months or so. So if you're interested in, in seeing how we did all everything from the beginning, then we've got, this is the 11th video in the series about the outhouse. So you can go back and watch how we got to this point. And I know that I said that we were getting a brand new shower screen door, but it's actually a second hand one. So just testing out the final product. Looks good. Now to put the plywood um, panels on the back of this shower door, we have to cut the 
um, basically the outline of the window into the plywood to make it sit in the correct place. So Paul's just nailing that plywood piece into place and then he'll have to cut another one that covers the rest of that wall basically. So just taking the measurements for the next plywood wall section. So now Paul just measures up the plywood and he'll use the circular saw to cut the plywood in the, in the right shape basically. So Paul's just using a chalk line to get a straight and level reference line to use to use the circular saw to cut it up. So basically the chalk line consists of a long thin string or cord that's coated with powdered chalk that makes a mark on the plywood so that you know where to cut. So Paul has to cut a little corner piece out of the plywood to fit around the beam or the rafter up the top in the shower area. And now he's just measuring where the window needs to go so he needs to cut that hole out. It's just like fitting a jigsaw together. Sometimes I understand I'm making all the wrong demands in life never pays in the end But still I am here moving on like before I'm yearning to reach the shore Now I know what it means to grow oh. Thank you. 
Thanks for joining us on this adventure as we transformed our off-grid Australian outhouse into a comfortable oasis with a bidet sprayer and a shower door screen. These things will make the world of difference in our everyday routines. Paul's testing out the shower and look how he's loving it. How civilised. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update from our off-grid adventures. Stay wild and we catch you at the next episode.